Hi, I'm Rob. You know, Miss Orbe, I'm Guy. You know, I make you better, that's what I do. Now, how do you recognize a bad golf instruction? Well, the first thing they're going to teach you is put the thumb on the shaft. And down below you have a link to Addison, that, you know, that when she's teaching the Tom Watson grip, and she says this, the only anatomical absolute for the grip. And it's actually wrong, because once you put your thumb on the shaft, with your left thumb, if you're a right-handed golfer or something like that, then you have a problem. So, they don't say, tell you that, by the way. So, now you created a problem for the golfer, now that they have to learn to do a hell of release. Because when you put the thumb on the shaft, your wrist wants to turn over, creating hooks. Then people have to learn to do a hell of release. Think about that. It doesn't matter if you're an amateur or a tuper, you're trying to win tournaments, and then you have to do, you know, to do a hell of release, you know, to fix that thumb on the shaft. Now, I know, people have been teaching um, golf for more than 120 years, give or take, you know, ever since Fordham's day. And some of, like myself, comes along and tell you, you know, that people like, you know, Allison teach you badly. That's bad instruction. Um, and they will also tell you things like the only anatomical absolute once you got the grip wrong in the first place. She doesn't know that you create a problem with that grip. Tom Watson didn't know that either. Tom Watson probably would have won that uh, British Open back in 2009 or whatever it was. Because when things get more, you know, this is kind of straightforward, right? You're gonna do something, transport a ball a particular distance, with some precision along the time, and you're gonna do the same thing everybody else is doing. So imagine that you have 100 people, two pros, and they're basically trying to do the same thing everyone, right? Now, let's say you have 50 of them trying to do something that's more difficult than the other 50. Which 50 do you think is going to be better, generally? Most people, you know, logic will work like that. If it's more difficult to do the same thing, they're probably going to perform worse. You know, statistically, average, and all that That would be true. That's an opinion built on, you know, facts or evidence, if you like. That if it's too difficult to do the same thing, it's gonna lead to kind of issues, you know, some mistakes, unforced error, stuff like that. Suddenly you hit the hook, suddenly you slice it, suddenly you pull it, suddenly you push it, suddenly you hit it a little bit too fat, a little bit too thin, and so on, so on, so on. And you don't know why. And they start with the thumb on the shaft, like Addison teaches. That's bad instruction. Now, obviously, if you go ask those teachers, the gurus in golf, they will tell you they know what they're doing because they've been teaching for 20 or 30 years golf. And they've all been teaching the golf thumb on the shaft. And, you know, you can do a little bit of a contrast. If you go play baseball, tennis, cricket, ice hockey, do they put the thumb on the handle? No, they don't. <clears throat> they don't, right? Because if they do, they lose power. My grip that I did a video a while ago allows you to understand how to create a natural release. Now, you know, just to make you understand a little bit how difficult this is for people, I have a member who has been a member for two years, and he had access to the same information you have, you know, my grip, the takeaway, right? And he also had, you know, I write some things, you know, a little bit of things over the years. But basically the same information. And a few days ago he posted he was a believer suddenly. And he'd been a member for two years. And the reason why he became a believer was that he, other people had posted, you know, amateurs, you know, changing to my grip and takeaway. One member had a 35 meter with a pitching wedge. So he was hitting it 90, 95 meters, and then he hits 130 meters. As he said, 35 meter increase. Because it's very hard to change your mind about stuff. I mean, if you've been teaching the golf grip and you put the thumb on the shaft and tell everybody who's to do that for 
let's say 20 years. And then someone like myself comes along and says, that's bad instruction. Most golf instructors won't understand that. And it's always one of them who won't understand that. And she can't change her mind. She can try to prove me wrong, but most likely she can't. Because she already stated on the, in the video here, the only anatomic absolute. Fully great. When people do that absolute things, you know, this is absolute. This is so people do not test the difference. Hans, as yes, you see the guy on YouTube here, was using the modern golf grip. And he was very proud of that also. Because he told his, you know, the guy who changed his grip that he needed to put the tape, you know, so he can, you know, feel that in his fingers and all that stuff in a specific way. I told him about that a little bit ago when he said, you know, not so important anymore. Because now he uses my grip. A few weeks ago, uh, I asked him, you know, and I hadn't said anything before now. I said, hey Hans, uh, is the release much better nowadays? Easier, you know? And he was like, yeah. And I never asked him about that stuff before. And I said, isn't that kind of funny? You never thought about that and told me that. And he was like, well, I kind of just do what you tell me. It works better, so I don't know. He said, you know. His approach is pretty straightforward. He tests it, he makes it work better, so he does it. <clears throat> this is the key <clears throat> question here, or key point, or whatever you call it, the key observation is that <clears throat> when Einstein came along, you know, over 100 years ago, and he said that, you know, light can bend around the sun. Now, most people um, at the time, they didn't believe him, because people, you know, at the time was. In the Newtonian clock universe, everything works like a clock. Everything was predetermined. It was very simple to, you have this, you do this. You have this, you do this. There was nothing else going on. Until Einstein came along and said, well, on the some condition, the light can actually bend around the big gravity object. And a lot of scientists at the time was laughing because they could not believe that. Even though the math proved him right. The math didn't lie. That was the evidence, right? So I should prove right the evidence. So at some point, they devised an experiment and made a movie about that, but at least one, probably more, where they show that experiment when they were being able to prove Einstein correctly. Now, if you want to test my grip, you have, you need some thicker grip. You probably need some more tape under. And you're gonna need the two, three weeks to get accustomed to that. And um, it's gonna help you develop a natural release. Hans did, it took him some time. It took him a couple of tries before he, he tried to change first and he didn't like it. And, and then later on he tried it again and then he got it to function. When people have been doing things, you know, having the thumb on the shaft for many, many years, it's a bad habit, it's a bad instruction. And everybody assumes that's the way to do it, even though you don't do it anywhere else in sports. And when you do something like I do, then you go against what people have been teaching for 20, 30, 40, 50 years even, uh, they're going to have a hard time changing their mind. Much like, you know, think about it. Scientists, when Einstein came along, they didn't want to change their minds. That's what happens. Because facts and evidence and such is not enough to change people's minds. Most people don't know why. Because it's how memory works. You know, once you get this idea in your head, like, for example, Marconi invented the radio, then you have a memory that you think is real now. When you prove them wrong that Nikola Tesla invented the radio, you're unable to change your mind about that until there is a new member of the Tesla actually invented the radio instead of Marconi. Because when someone asks you the question, who invented the radio, and you go, Marconi. You don't go, oh, that was Tesla. Did you know that? Check your facts. People don't do that. Why don't they? 
Well, because teachers in school doesn't teach us how the brain works, so we can learn better and uh, figure out how to, you know, teach. For example, something like golf. And the problem with golf instruction is that everybody, you know, on TV, YouTube, golf forums, two crews, they teach you to put the thumb on the shaft, which makes golf more difficult, and you're going to struggle with that. If you want the natural release, make it easy to swing and so on, you're going to learn to use my grip and modify your grip so that you can do it that way. But it's hard, you know, and difficult for people to change their minds about something. Some of you know people who smoke and they tell you, oh, I'm going to stop smoking now because you But they can't. Other people are doing that with drugs, you know. Other people with food. Other people with, you know, other addictions, stuff like that. They can't really change their mind about it. Because they don't really understand how the mind works. So, yeah. I mean, they know the facts. Well, it's really, 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 really bad to smoke like this. It's really, 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 really bad to use drugs like this. They know the facts. Facts doesn't change your mind. Only memory will. You actually have to build a new memory to build a new reality. Well, that's not the point of this video. This point was like Allison demonstrate down below and many others don't demonstrate that teach you that shit that makes it more difficult to play golf. Why do you want to listen to those people that teach you golf that way? I don't. That's why I developed this stuff because I figured out all the observation and testing. You know, the evidence didn't lie. I tested the evidence, tested the evidence, and the evidence held up, so I changed my mind. And then I'm teaching what I teach to them in my grip. Because the other thing, putting your thumb on the shaft, it's pure fucking stupidity. It's so fucking bad instruction, I can't even comprehend it. But here's the thing. You've been learning it, you've been reading about it, and everybody assumes that's how you're supposed to do it now. That's your reality. That's how your memory works in your reality of that. And the question is, would you to change your mind about that you can't really watch this video, you can't really watch the other video, you actually have to take a club, change the grip, thick grip, change it up, and do that for a few weeks until your brain, you know, adapt to that grip and go, oh yeah, this is much nicer now. But most people don't do that. Most people just watch something, see it, and read about it, and think, oh, it can't work better. That's not possible because if it did work better, everybody would teach that. That's not how the world works. That's not how humans work. Think about it. Before Einstein, anyone else could have figured out the light band around Gerard Jolie, but they didn't believe things could do that. They believed in Newtonian, they were tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, stuff like that. Everything worked perfectly, it's like a clock. There was no surprises. And then Einstein came along and said, well, it's relative. It's, sometimes it's a tick. Sometimes it's a talk, and sometimes time stops before it talks. And it was been there all this time. The same thing with golf. My grip has been there all this time, and people couldn't figure it out because everybody assumed the same thing. That what they've been teaching for 120 years must be correct. But that's bad instruction. And if you want to do that, go ahead. I don't stop people from doing stuff like that. I just tell people that's stupidity. And that you can have a choice about it, you understanding and educating yourself how this stuff works. Instead of, you know, becoming that mindless, you know, listening to people who don't think at all and just go, well, it must be true because everybody did that. Now you can have a choice. Now you can have an option. Now you can have... Hmm, maybe there is an easy way to hold a golf club. Maybe there is an easy way to swing. Maybe there is, there is an easy way to have a release that works better, naturally, than what everybody else has been teaching for 120 years. And they couldn't figure it out. I did. You can thank me later.